He has lied at every stage. Every stage his defense has been proven to be a lie. He said at the very outset on the campaign, he said he had never discussed uh, overseas business with his son. That was a lie. We now know there were dozens of such conversations. He said he had never met with his son's overseas business partner. That was a lie. We have now have multiple pictures, multiple meetings, dinners in Washington, D.C., phone calls with those business associates. The Democrats said there is no direct evidence of money going to Joe Biden. That was a lie. We now have multiple checks of money going to Joe Biden from entities that had received millions of dollars from communist China. And, and what I was questioning Chris Ray about yesterday, we have a text from Hunter Biden to a senior Chinese communist demanding millions of dollars and saying, I'm sitting here next to my father. And if you do not pay me this money, my father will retaliate, explicitly threatening a bribe, threatening retaliation. And we have two IRS whistleblowers who have said that when the investigation asked the natural question, well, was Hunter telling the truth? Was he, in fact, sitting next yeah. to Joe yeah. while he was trying to extort that bribe, that the Biden DOJ blocked the investigation, said, no, you cannot subpoena the GPS data. We don't want to know. It is a cover-up, and it's a cover-up directed by the most part partisan Department of Justice we've ever seen. Okay, do you, have you figured out an explanation yet for why a Chinese communist would suddenly give Hunter Biden millions of dollars for zero services rendered? Or do you think those services might have been access to the big guy, his dad, Joe Biden? Yeah, look, there, there is only one conceivable service that Hunter Biden provided, and that was, it wasn't just access. This isn't, he's not a lobbyist. Right. This is favors. He was selling favors from daddy. Look, Hunter Biden has no discernible skills. Very few people, in fact, nobody pays millions of dollars to a crackhead because Hunter Biden doesn't provide any services. All he is is a conduit. He's the front man for selling favors from daddy. You look at quid pro quo, the essence of bribery. And remember, bribery is one of the grounds explicitly stated in the Constitution for impeachment. Yeah. Quid pro, pro quo is Latin for this, for that. We know that Joe Biden performed the that, and in particular that he went to Ukraine and he demanded the firing of the prosecutor that was investigating the corrupt oligarch paying millions of dollars to his son, Hunter. And he held a billion dollars of U.S. funds ransom until Ukraine, in fact, fired that prosecutor. So we know the quo occurred. The investigation is to determine the quid of specifically how much money Joe Biden was paid to do that. Senator, a couple quick ones for you, about a minute left. You've got an interesting history with Donald Trump. We had the fourth debate last night. Do you, do you like Donald Trump personally? Absolutely, and I like, I like what we accomplished. We accomplished a lot for this country. I worked hand in hand with Donald Trump and we accomplished an enormous amount for this country. And it's evident right now just how badly okay. off track we are. And, and, I, and I will say, to understand just how bad things are, I'm, you mentioned my new book. It's yes. Unwoke. How to Defeat Cultural Marxism in America, and it gives a battle plan for how we retake the institutions that the radical left has taken over, because our, our country's in full-on crisis. Senator, right you endorsed Trump in 2016. Uh, yeah. It was September of 2016. You guys, of course, a long battle during the primaries there. Do you plan on endorsing him again in 2024? I, I am staying out of the primaries. I'm going to trust the voters to make that determination. I'm good friends with Donald Trump. I'm good friends with Ron DeSantis. Does his I, name I, help I think, you on the ballot in 24? Because you'll be back on the ballot in November as well. Uh, look, let, let, let's be clear. Clear. I'm running in Texas. I want this, the support of, of Trump supporters and DeSantis supporters and Haley supporters. Who helps you the most who, on the top of the ticket? I, you know, that's for the voters to decide. What, what I'm going to do is whoever the nominee is, I'm going to support enthusiastically because I am absolutely convinced that Joe Biden and the Democrats are driving this country okay. off the edge of a cliff, and we got to change course. Just quickly, uh, 2028, could that be a year where you run for president again? Oh, sure. And, and anything is possible. We ran in 2016 and came very, very close to winning. Uh, you know, I got to say, it's the most fun I've ever had in my life, and, and, and we had incredible is, support. Is Trump why you stayed out this cycle? You know, your name, I, Josh Hawley, I, Mike I, Pompeo, I, I, a lot of big names stayed out deliberately. Yeah, look, I, I looked at the race this year, and I, I didn't think it made sense to run this year. And so I'm running for re-election, and the Senate is the battlefield right now. Yeah, the Senate, yeah. it, it's like the Roman Colosseum, where you strap on your armor, you grab a battle axe, and you go fight the barbarians. That, that, that's every day in the U.S. Senate right now.